In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to add a blog post to the Drive Skills website. Okay, so the blog consists of two pages. One, the blog listing page and the blog itself. Here is the blog listing page. If we have several different um, blog posts, they will list down here, but right now we only have one post. It's welcome to Drive Skills, and we have the image, and we have the, the text here. So when the user hovers, hovers, hovers over welcome to Drive Skills, it highlights red, signaling that it's a link, or hovers over the, um, the description, and it's, there's a read more link here, kind of like a button. So we click that. And we go to the actual blog post. So here it is, the title, image, and the full length blog post. Uh, as for the blog posts, I recommend that users have three paragraphs at least. Anything else, it'll look incomplete. And another part of the, the blog post here is the side nav uh, sidebar right here. We have search, recent posts, categories, and older posts. So as we continue to gather more content, this will you know populate with like you know the most recent posts, um, um, older posts, and archives, and everything. But for now, um, that's how the blog post looks like, and we'll log into the back end of Drive Skills. So to access that, we go to www.driveskills.com WP Admin. Okay. And we go here. There's our username and password. And I will log in as the admin. And this is the dashboard uh, for the Drive Skills website. So we will click on posts. And here should there, here's the first post right here. Uh, welcome to Drive Skills. Let's look at it real quick. There's the title, Welcome to Drive Skills, the actual post, the author, the revisions, strange options, publish, categories, tags, featured image. So we will go over each section when we start our new posts. All right, let's start. Click on Add New. Okay, here's our new post here. We'll enter a title. So um, let's go Drive Skills Launches New Simulator. That will be our title. As for the content, we will use some dummy text. And I have a three paragraph Latin text right here. So I'll just copy and paste that. So paste there. Okay, so we have the text here, and you could style it um, whatever you like. There's the bold, italic, you can add links, and various different options. Uh, so um, you could experiment and see what each of these does. Okay. And then we go to the author. So instead of me being, ad like being listed as admin, we should change it to drive skills. Okay, and we go to these uh, strange options. Keep these two blank, title and teaser. And we will change the, the sidebar to blog. Because um, we I have different sidebars set up for different pages and this one is specifically for the blog. And right, keep that default. Preview media, we have two different options here, featured image and custom image and video. Uh, right now, we will just keep a featured image. And that featured image that we set 
is right here. That's the featured image. So we go to here, to the blog. And that's the featured image. And we have an um, option here that we can um, add a link to that featured image. So if you want the user to be able to click here to view the full size image, they can. But you don't want to distract them, in my opinion, with additional links. You just want them to go to the blog post. So I would set that to no link. But if you do want them to go to the, the full image, you by all means, you could you know select one of these other ones. So play around and see what works best for you. So right now, no link. Okay. Here is publish. We'll um, talk about that after we're done. Uh, categories. This is important. Um, you must check blog. If you do not check blog, the blog post will not show up. Okay. Tags. These are keywords um, that kind of describe your blog. So um, your blog post. So Ferrari. Um, you know, drive skills, etc. So. Um, you could have, you know, a few, but just don't go crazy with the tags. So this just kind of helps your search engine optimization rankings. Okay. And finally, we have our featured image. So we'll set that. Um, but there's a specific um, uh, setting for the featured image. You should um, at least uh, resize the image to 626 by 250 pixels um, using you know Photoshop or any image viewer um, because that's how everything's set up. So um, 626 by 250. And I have, let's see here, we'll just use an image here. So we'll select, I have a test image. Look for a test image here. Okay, so this is my test um, image photo that I'm going to use here. It's going to upload. Okay, so it's done uploading. So there's Im the image I'd like to use. And here's the title. Um, let's change that to something relevant. So um, it's like drive skills. Um, you know, simulator or something. Okay. Uh, and then alt text. Um, we could add uh, the same thing or simulator. This is um, a text when um, describing your image. Caption, you could add caption here, descriptions. So if you want to be thorough, you know, it's, you could add those. Um, here's the link to the URL. So if you need to um, refer to this um, particular image, that's the URL to the um, to the photo. We'll keep um, alignment none, and we'll use the full size. And after we're done, we'll click on Use as Featured Image. Okay, perfect. And then we'll close this. So our featured image is right here that we um, selected. And if you like everything, we can go to this publish section. So there's several um, options here where you could save as save draft. So if you're not done with the post and um, want to get back to it, you could save draft and it won't um, the post won't go live. So you could save it and then come back to it some other time. So, and it shows the status right here to draft. Visibility, it shows like, okay, this is for the public. So we could edit, you can have it password protected, you can make it private and everything. You can play around with the different settings. And um, publish immediately. So um, once we click on publish, that means the blog post will go live. But if you want it to be scheduled to go like in a later, later day, we could always change it 
change the date and the time. So, but for now, we'll make it go um, publish immediately. So, okay. okay. Uh, we can also click on preview to see how the blog post looks like. So we can click on preview. You can look at it. Okay, so this is our blog post. Looks good and everything. Okay. And then we could hit publish. Okay, once it's complete, it should say post published. We go back to the blog refresh it and there you go there's our blog post as here's our image right here okay there's the title and the um, portion of the um, blog post and we could hover over that read more or we could click right here and it will lead us to the actual blog post so that's how to add a blog post to the DriveSkills website.